Hi guys, Wen here, Vaping Wen. It's Sunday, so that means that it is vlog time. As uh, usual, I'll be talking a bit about uh, things that have come and gone through my hands this week. Uh, new arrivals, new mods, new atomizers, new e-liquids, which are going to be reviewed. Uh, but before I get to that, I just want to talk about the Vaping Wen store just a bit. I know that in my last vlog, I promised that it will be up by Wednesday. Unfortunately, I failed to uh, remember that there were two public holidays that uh, fell in last in along last week. That's right, in Malaysia, we got ton of public holidays, and um, the first one was on Tuesday, and the second one was on Friday. So that meant that uh, a lot of people who are involved in getting the store up were on leave or had to take the days off for uh, personal reasons and whatnot. Want a long holiday, want to go do their prayers. No problem. So um, I finally got the store online sometime late last week, about Friday, Saturday. Um, and I'm working on populating the store with more products and whatnot. So having said that, I can promise you that the store will be online this week. For Malaysian viewers, there will be several pretty okay deals well not several but there will be one deal in particular that's pretty all right if you know the price of things at the current market so i've worked with some partners to make this deal available to you guys as an opening promo um, for guys who are overseas worry not i have taken heed uh, some of your requests over the time over the months and i have sourced out some of the more requested items things like parts that are custom made here in Malaysia no worries about shipping we provide that uh, shipping prices will be listed on the website as well okay now that we've got that out of the way let's talk about some of the things that have come and gone out of the HQ first things first as some of you may have noticed throughout my uh, picture postings this week I did pick up two what you might call it two box mods one of them was this dinky thing. This is the Evercool, and this is a 10 amp Evercool, which means that it is capable of churning out 10 amps of power. Whew. And uh, the other thing that I picked up was a DNA20 box called the Chichak Mod. Um, the Chichak Mod was a locally made box mod using the uh, also popular Hammond Junction boxes. It featured some nice engravings, um, some decent finishing, and it came at a very affordable price. It was listed at 650 ringgit. That's about, that's under $200. Um, and I thought it was quite a decent buy. Uh, comparing that to a lot of other locally made box mods here, uh, they typically retail at about 800 ringgit. So, uh, a, 20, a DNA 20 box mod for 600 ringgit, 600 odd ringgit was quite a deal. Unfortunately, DNA 20 just isn't for me right now. Um, I don't know if it was the actual box itself or it, if, if, it, if it was me not getting the right ohm to wattage ratio. I just didn't feel comfortable vaping on the DNA 20 box. Don't get me wrong, uh, there's, there was nothing wrong with the Chichak mod. It is what it is. It was decent for its price. Uh, actually, it was well worth its price, but it just wasn't for me at the time. So I let it go to one of my very close friends. I hope you enjoy that box. Um, on the other hand, the Evercool 10 Amp. I love this box. <laughs> um, as you will notice, there is no display in this box but um, you can see a lot of the innards right here the components are much smaller than a DNA20 chip and the, its corresponding components so the model was able to keep the size down this unit runs on two 18350 batteries and it goes all the way up to 6 watts um, one of the main differences between Evercools and DNA20 boxes are the way that it converts the energy. It converts your 
volt charges of your batteries into you know it modulates the power all the way up to six volts um, from my understanding DNA 20 boxes evix z maxes all well, almost all variable voltage variable voltage devices even the provari they all have a pulsing rate and if you do a bit of research you will find that the higher the pulsing rate the better sort of quality of vape you will get a more consistent quality of vape you will get i believe the dna20 box has a 1000 hertz uh, pulsing rate the provari come on come on what's that number that lim gave me i think it was 600 or 700 700 ish um, the evic is only at 100 so the higher the rate of pulsing the better vape you'll get on the other hand the evercool the way that this sort of modulates electricity is that it does everything on the chip and just shoots it straight up to the atomizer in one long continuous burst and it doesn't pulse so this sort of is supposed to give you a very different sort of vape from when you use a dna20 box or some other variable voltage variable voltage boxes very technical i don't fully understand the whole concept all i know is that this box cost me 200 ish ringgit less than 100 dollars um it's small simple to use no bells and whistles um the voltage adjustment knob is up here it has no screen so you need to get yourself a tankometer to know exactly what level you're pulsing at if you don't care about that just turn it to taste you hit a sweet spot keep it there it doesn't matter what's the voltage right um, and uh, you know the button lights up let's go yeah one light blue there <laughs> according to my tankometer this is set at about 4.2 4.28 volts and it's a bloody amazing vape let me give you a sample tons and tons of vapor I can just turn it up a notch I reckon that's close to max so that's about 5.9 5.8 a much much warmer vape almost getting a dry heat there because it's so hot love it love it love it but I'll talk about that in detail um, probably sometime this week Okay, what else have I gotten? What else have I gotten? Uh, I've picked up a Touchwood Mini. Now this is not new in any form or sort or manner. The Touchwood Mini was out last year. Last year, correct, last year. And ever since I saw it for the first time, I've always loved it. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of people in Malaysia love it too in fact there's one local model who loves it so much that he actually came up with his own wood mox wood mox wood box mod which is very very heavily inspired by the touch wood just look around guys you will know what I'm talking about I'm not gonna name names but I love this little thing um, I actually traded something away for it and i'm running the kfun mini on top of course you could run any tank you want on it you could run a kfun you could run a typhoon you could run the kraken mm. the g bell looks pretty nifty on it because it's a bit of a smaller atomizer but so far i've been giving it a lot of uh, pairing with the kfun mini i'm just gonna take a bit Now I've got some Rahim liquid in here and this is um, honeydew with lemon very refreshing vape looking to get a bit more of that since I was just given a uh, sampler bottle and uh, you know so far no complaints about the Touchwood Mini absolutely love it it's a shame how the price has dropped down because I think that this is 
really one of those mods which you really have to hold and view in person to appreciate. From my understanding, these are handmade and and well, these are handmade <laughs> and I'm a sucker for all things handmade. Um, I got this second hand, so uh, there is a bit of damage on the bottom screw. But I got in touch with the model Ian in the UK and uh, I've purchased a replacement screw from him for somewhere about four pounds. Four, four pounds. Uh, that's including shipping, so damn, Ian, you're the man. Looking forward to receiving your package to swap this one out. Nothing wrong with it actually, it's just that it's a bit worn out and I just want to have it looking nice and pretty. So the Touchwood Mini. What else? Um, I've also picked up a hybrid ring from Rampage Vapors. And uh, this is because um, about two weeks ago, I bid for a hybrid ring on auction in uh, Vip, in VAM. And when I received the item, I was a bit disappointed because the seller only sent me the ring. Uh, as you might know, hybrid rings like this require a small gel ring piece that houses a, a pin in the middle. And that sort of makes the connection between your atomizer and your battery. Unfortunately, he just sent me the ring. When I asked him why wasn't there a gel ring piece, he gave me all sorts of rubbish excuses. I have since blacklisted that guy from my personal dealings, you know. Come on, come on. That's not how you do things, right? But anyway, do things your way, whatever. Um, and uh, one of our, one of my viewers um, got in touch with me, you know. He said he's buying some things off uh, Team Rampage and asked if I would like to join him to get a uh, hybrid ring. So I did. And I like this, I like this a lot, not because of the ring itself, I mean a hybrid ring is a hybrid ring, it's a hybrid ring. But in the package, uh, they also sent about four or five, I think at least five different lengths of pins, which would mean that this would work in practically any 22mm mod. I think that's great, money well spent, thank you for organizing that buy, and I'm going to take a vape for you. I also have Rahim Liquid in this tank and um, it's actually this one uh, yes, it's empty already and this is one of their so-called premium flavors called banana cake mmm, -hmm. banana cake I absolutely love it I love this liquid to death but I let a couple of my friends try it out today and they gave me some interesting feedback one of my friends mentioned that it had a plastic aftertaste. Another friend mentioned that uh, it tasted very off. But to me, it tastes absolutely like banana cake. Uh, I don't know if the brewer went to the extreme and put in that plastic aftertaste to reflect the plastic wrap. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't get that plastic aftertaste. Uh, but then again, I guess it's different taste for different folks. I love this, it's good stuff. And uh, you know, for a 30 ml bottle, I think it's 45 ringgit. That's a decent price. That's a decent, decent price. Hmm. What else? Another of our viewers, he got in touch with me because he is interested in starting to, he's interested to start importing some e-liquids, some premium American e-liquids to be sold here. And he asked me if I would be able to sort of give the liquids a sort of test first. Uh, and I like the way he's doing things. He passed me this little baggie with four bottles of liquids. Um, as you may be able to see, there is no tag on it except for a single alphabet on each bottle. And the reason why he's doing this is because he doesn't want me to have any preconceived sort of uh, preconceived conception, conceptions, misconceptions or expectations about the liquids because of the brand or because of the name. And 
I think that is a really nice way to sort of blind test, get your liquids blind tested. Um, straight away I could tell the flavor profiles of some of these liquids. One of them is a very very nice custard liquid. One is a peanut based liquid. One more is more of a creme brulee-ish liquid. And one is a very strong, how would I call it, international hex inspired e-liquid. Very interesting liquids, not overly sweetened, and that is definitely something which I like. Um, I will be reviewing this really soon, but I won't be able to give you a lot of details on them. Things like label, the brand, the names of the liquids, the nicotine content. Maybe I'll just hold off reviewing them first and get more information from the brew, uh, from the importer before I do this video. Anyway, good stuff. I, I I pretty much like the way you're doing things. And uh, let's move on. I've also received some e-liquids from a brand called Alien. We've got four bottles here. Four bottles here. And um, Alien is another local brew. The brewer is based in Karinchi. That is somewhere near Bangsa, near Mid Valley. And... The brand name Alien uh, has some rather interesting flavor combinations. This one is called Vendetta and straight away I can smell that it's another chocolate mint sort of e-liquid. But unlike Trey Candy, this is a heavy chocolate base with a hint of mint at the back. Um, something like those after eight wafers or after eight chocolates. Yep. Uh, there is this liquid called Rich Alien. There is another one called Cold Alien. And lastly, there's one called Blue Alien, which is sort of reddish. So this week I will be giving them a round on my tanks and I will be reviewing these liquids first. I've also received a shipment of liquids from another local brand called Armadius Liquids. Um, not too long ago, maybe two or three months ago, Armadius Liquids posted up on Facebook that they were looking for testers for the liquids. And I was honored at being given a position as one of their permanent testers. Thank you very much, guys at Armadius. I'm very looking forward to testing out your liquids. Um, according to the tracking details that they gave me, the liquid should have reached my office by now. So I'm going to be swinging by soon to pick them up and giving them a try. Very excited to share the news about Amadeus liquids with you too. Alright, so new box mod, new hybrid ring, touchwood mini, some new e-liquids to review. What have I left out? Have I left out anything? I don't think so. But I know that I've been rambling on and on quite a bit, so I'm gonna cut this video off now. Um, I'm gonna take a quick vape, get to work on my store, and wish you a pleasant week ahead. Vape on, brothers! Let's do it.